Yet again, we have another massive win for the crypto industry, but this time it's DeFi, and this could potentially be one of the most important legal decisions that has happened in the crypto industry, and it has to do with Uniswap. As most of you know, the SEC has unjustly gone after many different crypto companies, but we've seen a lot of big wins recently. XRP is not a security on the secondary market, Grayscale versus the SEC case. The judge basically told the SEC, you're absolutely ridiculous. You don't know what you're talking about. And granted Grayscale the ability to convert the GBTC trust to a Bitcoin spot ETF. Yes, it still does need to be approved, but it's a big win for the industry. And now we're gonna talk about Uniswap, DeFi, and developers because this is going to be crucial. If you're brand new to the O Show, welcome back. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, set alerts so we can push this out. So back in 2022, a bunch of really immature and ridiculous investors filed a class action lawsuit against Uniswap, and they alleged that they violated U.S. securities laws by failing to register as an exchange or broker dealer, offering and soliciting securities on an unregistered exchange. Okay, the group basically wanted to hold Uniswap accountable for investors losing money to scam tokens that were issued and traded. Guess what? Uniswap is a decentralized crypto exchange. Okay, it's decentralized. It basically code. Anybody can go on it. They can transact. They could do all these things. And DEXs are not really supposed to kind of register because everything's supposed to be private, okay? If you want that type of protection, use a centralized exchange. In addition, just a bunch of people in crypto are very lazy and they don't want to take accountability for their actions. Well, what ended up happening, which I'm very, very excited about, is the SNDY judge, Kathleen Polk Fala, this judge is also overlooking or overseeing the Coinbase case, has thrown out the class action lawsuit against Uniswap and ruled that Uniswap cannot be held accountable for the losses of users or damage caused by third parties. And this is because it is software. It is code. And this is absolutely amazing. So people in the United States of America could potentially still be allowed to create. However, if you're going to be launching a token, that's a little bit of a different ball cane. So that's probably where the problem lies. But it was the judge came out and said, in this regard, the court sees merit in defendants counterpoint that this case is more like an effort to hold a developer or self-driving cars liable for a third party's use of the car to commit a traffic violation or to rob a bank. And again, this makes sense. Basically, you create something and somebody uses it for bad and that's not your responsibility. You can't control other people's actions. Some other interesting things here. The judge wasn't convinced by an argument that Uniswap's token sales were subject to the Exchange Act because they kind of just airdropped it. That's what I'm thinking. Also too, they also the judge also declined to stretch any federal securities laws to cover the conduct alleged. And she said that decentralized nature of Uniswap made identifying scam token issuers unknown and unknowable, leaving no identifiable defendant. Lastly, the judge that oversees this, the SEC lawsuit against Coinbase, classified Ethereum and Bitcoin as a commodity on her opinion on the rule. This is epic. This is absolutely amazing because again, this judge is also overseeing the Coinbase um, lawsuit. And the fact that Gary Gensler, the chair of the SEC, could not tell you if Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap, is in fact a security or not, that's where it gets really problematic. Here you see one plus one equals 69. So this is actually very important to me. This is just as important as the XRP win, XRP not being a security on the secondary market, because it's basically allowing people to continue to create and also shifting the blame to the other parties that actually created the token, not the platform. And that is exactly where the accountability should go. And plus the people, you guys that are buying this stuff, and not doing your due diligence. Come on, let's do better and let's leave the public servants out of our business unless it's an extreme circumstance. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, set alerts. Bitcoin and Ethereum, probably not securities. They're more likely commodities. And let's get this information out. Bye-bye.